Over the past couple of days, fishermen have been pulling up flounder one after another off Grand Strand piers like the one in Surfside Beach. On a good day, you know, you can catch six or eight, ten flounder. I mean, there was over 100 flounder caught up here yesterday, so and we're talking about ten times the normal amount of fish that are caught. Usually, Tommy Werner would be fishing from a boat on a day like this, but now, why bother? They're catching a lot off the pier, and it's a lot easier just to grab my fishing pole and come up on the pier, catch a few fish, and go home. It's not just the heavy flounder catch. Fishermen are also saying out in deeper waters, live bait is dying when they bring it up. It's like they can't get enough air. Um, when you fish them closer to the beach where the suds and everything's churned up, they seem to be doing fine. So that kind of points in the direction of the oxygen problem. Indeed, researchers from CCU's Marine Science Lab say they're measuring low oxygen levels all along the Grand Strand. It could be caused by a plankton bloom that sucks oxygen out of the water. One sign is the rich green color of the ocean. Scientists say the long-term consequences are problems for the fish reproducing and the risk of overfishing. Fishermen say they do want a healthy environment for the fish, but for right now... It's nice for the fishermen, you know, as long as nothing's dying, as long as nothing's washing up on the beach or anything. Scientists say when the wind picks up, it'll stir up the water, produce more oxygen, and the flounder catch will be back to normal. In Surfside Beach, Joel Allen, News Channel 15.